Blessings family in Christ, I pray all is well. Welcome to Be a Blessing Podcast. I'm your host, Sister Jess, and today's topic is about silence. I felt as though that this world can sound so loud. I think that as I'm getting older, my ears are getting sensitive to the loudness. I can easily get distracted when my hearing seems to be on overdrive. And as a mother, I have to keep my ears open. So I can make sure if I'm in another room, I can hear my children calling for me. And you know, if you're a mother and you have little ones running around, you can hear their little footsteps, their toys dropping, their loud talking. But when there is silence, we panic and we run only to find them taking a quick nap. And in a home filled with noises, we have to find moments of silence to take time to catch our breaths, but most importantly, to make ourselves still and focus on the Heavenly Father. Yes, our days are moving so quickly in this fast-paced world to the point that the enemy is trying to find new ways to steal our peace that God has given us. And when we get distracted, our thoughts get confused, and we can get To the point that we're looking at what others have accomplished. To the point that we forget that we as believers need to focus on patiently waiting in the Lord to supply our needs. In Psalm chapter 37 verse 7 it says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. We hear this command so many times, and it's true. We must wait for God's help. And sometimes we must wait in silence. I know that it's hard being in this world that's, you know, is so loud and, you know, ongoing, and it feels like this world never sleeps. Silence helps with our patience. And true peace comes from the Lord if we want things to just be still and quiet. We must submit to his will and wait patiently for him to truly be commit and submissive in waiting his perfect timing. Because the Lord's timing is always right on time. And we must stop looking at what others have accomplished because some people have chosen to go a sinful path to have what they have in their lives. And be mindful that in whatsoever state that we are in, we must be content. If we put our trust in the Lord, whatever comes our way, whatever happens is for our good. Family in Christ, it is so important to spend time with our Heavenly Father. How can we show kindness If we don't take time to pray and meditate on our Heavenly Father's words, how can we have a righteous mind or righteous thoughts if we don't take time to be still and have time with God? When we in the Lord's presence, we have to learn to be silent. We must take time to be still. We must take time to quiet our minds and our hearts. So when God is instructing us to move, we can move. Real peace and comfort comes from him. I'm telling you, it's nothing like those silent moments that we have with God because it renews our minds. It helps us to be a better child of God. It helps us to be a better person. It helps us to be a better help to others. It helps us to wait upon him and not man. It helps us to hear him more clearly. It helps us to feel his presence more. Thank you, Lord. We must understand when God is ready to speak to us, we must be ready to obey and listen. Just like when we want our children to obey and listen to the first time, obey and listen to God, our Heavenly Father, just like that. With so much going on, I pray each day we will continue to put our focus and trust on him and have one-on-one time with him in silence and cherish those moments in silence as well. He instructs us and directs our path for his purpose. Even if you have 60 seconds of silence, how would you spend it? I love you all and God bless.